It's the Pac-12 versus the Big Sky. Oregon State looking for its first win on the season. They'll match up against Cal Poly. All right, explain this to me because second half held scoreless. Offensively, they look like they were a juggernaut in that first half. What do we need to see from the Beavs in week three? Well, this needs to be their most complete game because there's elements even when you look at the end of that game, sideline interaction, like overall for Jonathan Smith, this game against Cal Poly comes at the perfect time. Now, it's going to be a challenge. They're facing the triple option, but they're facing a team that they should beat. They should gain confidence from this, and they need to play physical football on both sides. Defensively, Mike, they'll be forced to do it because of the triple option. But offensively, to your point, they're moving the ball. They're running the football. They should be able to do that in this ball game, and they should be able to do that throughout the rest of the season. You see a steady improvement from this team? I've seen inconsistent improvement from this team. I've seen areas where you say, whoa, Jake Luton looks like one of the top quarterbacks in this conference. Jamar Jefferson, we know what he does. This defense looked like they've improved, but then we see moments where they flash back to a year ago. And I think the inconsistencies in this conference as conference play gets going another week, they're not going to allow you to win games if, if you're that inconsistent. It's too competitive. So, yeah, they've made strides. They're little ones. They're small wins. But this moment for this program, after what happened, over in Hawaii a week ago, I think it's going to be a, a big moment in the Jonathan Smith era. Cal Poly winless all time against Pac-12 opponents. They match up against the Bees. We got the game for you Saturday afternoon at 1.15 Pacific time.